Hello guys, welcome back. And welcome kung bako ka sa channel na to. So, yung topic natin ngayon is evaluating piecewise functions. So, pag nag-evaluate tayo ng piecewise functions, so katulad lang din siya pag nag-evaluate tayo ng uh, ibang mga functions. So, yung pagkakaiba lang dito sa piecewise is uh, marami tayong choices ng function. Eh, hindi lang isa. So, depende sa magiging values ng x natin. So, dito sa example natin, Uh, given function of x equals x plus 4 if x is less than 1. 2. Function of x is 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than positive 4. Then function of x is equal to x minus 5 if x is greater than or equal to positive 4. And then yung pinapanap sa atin is, uh, pinapa-evaluate is for letter E, f of negative 3. For letter B, f of positive 3. And for letter C, f of 7. Okay? So now, for letter E muna tayo. Uh, find, uh, evaluate, f of negative 3. So now, yung gagawin lang natin. So, hanapin lang natin kung saan nabibilang itong negative 3 sa mga condition natin. Okay? Uh, great, less than ba siya sa positive 1? Less than ba siya sa 4? But greater than or equal to 1? or greater than or equal to 4 ba siya? Okay? That is, x is less than 1. Kasi negative 3. Okay? Less than 1 siya. So, hindi siya pwede dito sa uh, condition number 2 natin. Kasi, uh, less than 4 siya, pero, hindi naman siya greater than or equal to 1. So, hindi ito. So, hindi ito yun. And then, hindi naman siya greater than or equal to 4. So, hindi naman ito. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, dahil less than 1 siya, gagamitin natin is x plus 4. Okay? So, yung gagamitin natin is yung f of x is equal to x plus 4. So, therefore, yung f of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 4. Okay? So, pinalitan lang natin yung x ng negative 3. So, negative 3 plus 4, that is positive 1. So, therefore, f of negative 3 is positive 1. Okay? For letter B naman, pinapahanap naman sa atin yung f of positive 3. So now, so saan nabibilang dito yung positive 3? Sa mga condition natin. Less than 1 ba yung 3? Hindi. So hindi ito yun. And dito, less than 4 siya and greater than or equal to 1. So ito, sa pangalawang condition natin. Kasi, less than 4 siya, yung 3, less than 4. And greater than or equal to 1 siya. Okay? Greater than 1 yung 3. So, hindi siya pwede dito kasi uh, hindi naman siya greater than or equal to 4. Okay? 3 is not greater than or equal to 4. So, hindi ito. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Yung gagamitin natin is f of x is equal to 2. So, therefore, yung function of 3 is simply 2 lang. Okay? So, constant lang siya. Wala siyang x. So, ito na yung final answer natin sa letter B. Okay? And then for letter C, uh, F of 7. So, saan nabibilang si 7 dito? So, hindi naman siya less than 1. Hindi rin siya less than 4. So, nandito siya. Uh, greater than or equal to 4 siya. Okay? 7 is greater than 4. So, dito siya. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, yung x minus 5. So, function of x is equal to x minus 5. Okay? So, therefore, f of 7 is equal to 7 minus 5. Okay? Pinalitan lang natin ng 7 yung mga x. So, 7 minus 5, that is positive. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Function of 7 is equal to 2. Okay? So, example number 2 tayo para mas maintindihan niyo yung evaluating piecewise function. So, dito, yung piecewise function naman natin is function of x is equal to 3x plus 2 If x is less than negative 2, then f of x is equal to x if x is less than 1 but greater than or equal to negative 2. And then, f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Now, yung pinapanap sa atin, yung pinapa-evaluate is for letter A, f of 4. For letter B, f of negative 3. And for letter C, f of negative 3. So, kay A muna tayo. F of 4. So, again, 
titignan lang natin kung saan siya nabibilang dito sa mga condition natin. Saan yung 4? Uh, less than negative 2 ba yung 4? X is less than negative 2? Hindi. Okay? Kasi ay greater than negative 2 siya. So dito, less than 1 ba siya? But greater than or equal to negative 2? Hindi. Hindi naman siya less than 1. Okay? And then last, uh, greater than or equal to 1 by yung 4? Yes. Okay? Greater than 4 yung Greater than 1 yung 4. And so therefore, nandito siya sa foundation na to. Ito yung gagamitin nating function. So function of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay? Dito natin i-evaluate yung f of 4. Okay? So palitan lang natin ang 4 yung mga x. Minus 3 times 4 plus 1. Okay? So yung mga x, pinalitan lang natin ang 4. Okay? So, simplify lang natin yan. 4 squared, that is 16. Um, 3 times 4, that's 12. And plus 1. Okay? So, 16 minus 12, that is 4. Plus 1, that's 5. So, therefore, f of 4 is equal to 5. Okay? So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, for letter B naman tayo. So, f of negative 3 naman yung pinapahanap dito sa letter B. f of negative 3. So, saan naman nabibilang tong negative 3 dito sa mga condition natin? Uh, less than negative 2 ba siya? Yung negative 3? Yes. Dito siya. So, check na rin natin yung iba, no? So, less than 1. Yes, less than 1 siya, pero hindi siya greater than or equal to negative 2. And then, last x is greater than or equal to 1, so hindi. Okay, so, wala siya dito. So, ito yung condition na gagamitin natin. So, therefore, ito yung gagamitin nating function. Kasi nandito siya. Less than negative to siya. So, function of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay, dito natin i-evaluate yung negative 3. So, f of negative 3 is equal to 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Okay? Pinalitan lang natin yung x na negative 3. So, f of negative 3, 3 times negative 3, negative 9. That's 2, that is negative 7. Okay, so ito na yung final answer natin. Para sa letter B. And then, for the last uh, question natin, find f of negative 2. So, same step lang, titignan natin kung saan siya nabibilang dito. So, less than negative 2 ba siya? Hindi. Then, sa condition number 2 natin, uh, less than 1 ba siya? Yes. Uh, greater than or equal to negative 2 ba siya? Yes. Kasi equal siya sa negative 2. So, dito siya nabibilang. So, dito, x is greater than or equal to 1. So, hindi naman siya greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, therefore, f of x is equal to x yung gagamitin natin yung function. Dito natin i-evaluate yung negative 2. So, f of negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot natin. Comment below guys kung nakatulong yung video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.